a gorgeous sunset, the backdrop for the biggest high school football matchup of the year in the Central Piedmont Conference. Head coach Tyshawn Brown and his Mount Tabor Spartan team off to a fast start to the season, 5-0 and ranked 31st overall in the state in the latest Max Preps rankings. The opponent, head coach Todd Willard and his 5-0 East Forsyth Eagles, who are flying high, averaging over 49 points a game and ranked second overall in North Carolina. Eagles up three zip early second quarter. Jalen Rayner hits pay dirt from three yards out as East Forsyth takes a 10 to nothing lead. Number one, quarterback Jalen Rayner on the keeper. Mount Tabor senior quarterback Samaj Reeves Smith cranking it up and firing the long ball as sophomore Shamarius Peterkin gets behind the defense all the way down to the one yard line. Mount Tabor's Kevin Frazier scores from the one and we've got a ball game. 10 7, East Forsyth with the narrow lead. This Spartan defense can get after you in a hurry. Senior Chris Atkins with the sack attack, backing East Forsyth up big time. Fourth and 10, punt time for the Eagles. But senior captain Jalen Rayner pulls it down and runs it. A big, big play for the first down inside the 30. Eagles in business. East Forsyth runs the jet sweep as senior Javante Connor gets the outside and doles out punishment on his way in for the 20 yard score. Eagles back with some breathing room and up 17-7. Spartan senior running back Giovanni Caesar exploding through the hole for the 20 yard gain. Caesar with 64 tough yards on the ground on 15 carries for the game. Later in the drive, Tabor looking deep as Smith lets it rip. But senior cornerback O'Shea Fernandez bats away the pass attempt as the Spartans come away empty handed and down by 10 at halftime. Second half, East Forsyth on the move. Rayner with the nice pitch and catch to senior Trenton Dozier. First down, Eagles. Same drive, Rayner rolls out to the right and finds Quayshawn Brown as the future Duke Blue Devil makes the crazy good catch. Eagles moving the sticks. Jalen Rayner caps it off as he dives in from a yard out. East Forsyth takes the commanding 17 point lead. Late third quarter, the Eagles looking to put it away. Running back Trenton Dozier gets some great blocking from his guys as he sprints his way in for the score from 49 yards out. Dozier carried it only six times on the day for 90 yards and the touchdown. The Eagle D is fast and can disrupt a play in a hurry. Smith dives out of the way as Nathan Martin is credited with one of his three sacks on the night. Mount Tabor would add a late score in the fourth quarter. Shamarius Peterkin goes up and gets it for the seven yard score. 31 to 13 is the final score as the East Forsyth Eagles stay unbeaten at 6 and 0. Mount Tabor falls to 5 and 1 on the year. The head coach Tyshawn Brown says they'll be fine. We're going to get better. Um, one game is not going to define us. We're 5 and 1. Um, we're sitting in second place right now in the CPC and we're going to go down to David County and, and, and get ready to get back on the winning track. I'm still proud of my team, man. Them guys play hard. Um, they wore us down in the second half, man. East Forsyth is a really good football team. The offense is one of the best I've seen. Um, you know, those guys was able to, um, to, to play some really good defense. We didn't get a lot of first downs, and um, we left some change on the board in the first half. I, I thought we should have scored uh, or came out with a field goal, and, and we didn't. That's how, I, that's how I fall sometimes. Just happy to get away with the win. They're a great team, and uh, two great teams here in the Central Piedmont. It, it's a big win. Um, you know, just proud of everybody, my administration staff and everything. I mean, these are two great teams. Um, guys battle great. Tyshawn does a great job. We knew we were coming in for a war tonight, and that's what we have.